of body painting is, it's just an art piece on your body. So instead of drawing or painting something on a canvas or on a wall, you just paint it on your body. Today's look is inspired by flowers. I had a lot of fake flowers. So I glued them to a headband and I suddenly thought I should just, just do a whole look inspired by that. I tried to make myself look like a doll. It was one of my favorite pictures ever because I did submit it as my senior picture and it's really cool that that's in the yearbook is my first documentation of like trying to look like something. Little designs that I've done on my eyes. I've done flowers, eyeliner that just is a bunch of flowers, an ice cream cone. I've done a dog, all different kinds of little things, but I stopped doing that so much and just incorporating those little designs into my work because I like doing it on such like a big scale. When I was younger, I liked the idea of playing with makeup the same way as I do now. As I grew up, I would take like red lipstick and like draw all over my cheeks and stuff and just like use it in more creative ways than the average person was, but I didn't know that there was a field for that. I didn't know that there was a whole world that is body painting. When I grew up, I did wear some makeup, but it was more of like using it to like hide myself and you know, just to like blend in with like society so I didn't look different especially younger girls and stuff, when they're like insecure. And it would kind of make me sad because I'm like, I don't use makeup as a way to hide. It's fun for me and it's not like a chore that I have to do because I feel insecure about myself. It's very odd sometimes to see myself transform. I still see myself. I definitely still see myself. I see even more of myself. I created that so it is me through and through. Sometimes I do go out in it, like if I have like, you know, if it's Halloween or if I'm going to a costume party. I got so many compliments that night. I had like people coming up to me and just like, kind of like walking around me and like looking at my face and they were like, that's crazy, like how long did that take you? It could take, you know, three, four hours, or it could take six or seven hours. Who knows? Sometimes I sit there all day. Drawing on paper is one thing that is tough, but to do it on yourself is a whole other ball field. It's very difficult to look in the mirror and have to do something on your body or on your face and do it correctly when you're trying to like look up into a mirror, look down, and it's, it's a lot. I think art's anything that you create. It's anything that you come up with in your brain and you're able to just throw onto whatever you want to, whether that's a canvas or your body or a wall or sculpting something. It's fun. It is like a performance piece. It's like installation art. You're just walking around being your own art piece. And I just love that aspect of it. It just shows who I am inside because like I'm fun and colorful and then it's on my face. I take so many pictures. I take hundreds of pictures. And this is where I have to just make sure that I get every aspect of my face. So with my eyes closed, with my eyes open, like turn to the side, turn to the other side. 
looking up, I have to make sure that I get all of my body if I have painted that too, and it's a lot of pressure. I do love doing that part. It's all done, it's finished, and now I get to document it. So I think that's one of my favorite parts. I have lots of social media platforms and I love to post my looks on there because I get really good response from a lot of other makeup artists and I've had bigger accounts repost my stuff, which is really interesting and I gain a lot of followers from that. So that's really exciting. So washing it off is the sad part. That's like the saddest part. Sometimes I just stare in the mirror and look at myself and I'm like, I don't want to take it off. It's like if you painted, spent hours painting something on a canvas and then you just destroyed it. Washing it off just means to do another look. It means that you get to do another one the next day and it just keeps going. You keep washing it off and doing it again and washing it off and doing it again. When I transform myself, I'm able to just be whatever I want. I think that's interesting about this type of art is that you do get to use the same canvas over and over again. 